Self-driving cars have a big problem, but there's a big need for them. Waymo just experienced one of its most disruptive days um, in the history of the service last week, as San Francisco experienced a widespread blackout that caused chaos with the self-driving cars. We'll tell you what's happening and how this is actually helping those cars get better, and more here in a quick second. As I break down interesting news stories I find across the web, I'll let you know about them. If you like what we do here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I hope to make the news of the world a little bit more understandable and informative. All right, from Business Insider, Waymo has explained that Ro what happened to its robo-taxis. Now, Waymo is a Google-owned project that has self-driving um, cars expanding across the country where you can um, hail them just like you would an Uber or a Lyft, jump in and have them take you somewhere. Uh, now. Over the week, uh, past week, they had a massive blackout in San Francisco, which resulted in all the streetlights stopped working and chaos with the Waymo self-driving cars as they stopped at many popular intersections and clogged up roads, not quite sure what to do. Now, Google's backed um, company Waymo has come out and said, basically what happened here is the sheer number of out outage lights caused problems as these Waymo cars have a check back home system that where they're, if they're unsure what to do, that they go back to a command center and say, hey, I, I'm running into something I'm not sure how to handle. And then the command center helps them decide what to do, give some human feedback. Um, but the sheer number of these requests overwhelmed it, resulting in cars just sitting there waiting to hear back from the command center, blocking the roads. Now, Waymo says that they've used this and are improving and already rolling out updates to address um, outages like this, to treat them like four-way stops, like they would any four-way stop sign on a road. So, should we just pull these? I hear this all the time. Hey, these self-driving cars are too early. They're not ready. We need to take them off the road. Well, if you watched my video earlier this week, you know how Walmart's experiencing a massive issue with lack of drivers. They don't have enough drivers to meet the demand. And that's why these self-driving cars are becoming so popular. Now, Google is not the only one. Many companies out there are investing. Even things like Uber hopes to replace many of their human drivers with robots in the future. And the reason being is there's just a huge demand for drivers, not just on things like Uber Eats and Uber Drives, Lyfts, and the like, but also in the commercial space. A lot of drivers are needed for everything from uh, auto parts suppliers to run um, parts from warehouses to local shops to repair cars to Walmart delivering groceries from their stores to your home. Uh, we talked about how in uh, the Christmas rush, Walmart had a consistent issue of not being able to get enough drivers to meet the demands for their orders. And that's why billions of dollars, and yes, billions, are being spent on improving these um, self-driving cars. Now, I talk about this a lot in my main channel, AI. How AI is right now as bad as it will ever get. And the more um, AI learns, the more we use AI, the better it gets, and the more they find errors like this. Now for Waymo, they've now identified a big problem here. While their system works while well, there's an unexpected outage on a light when there's just one or two of them, when there's a widespread citywide outage, or at least in a large chunk of San Francisco, it overwhelms their system. And now they're developing a system to address that to make sure it doesn't happen again. And that's how these things get better. The truth is, you never are able to really predict everything that will happen um, until it actually happens. Uh, game developers know this very well, especially on PC and different things. Trying to predict how end users will use their game, sometimes it's hard, and users will find unexpected exploits or workarounds or glitches that the game developers didn't anticipate, couldn't think of. And so really that's why nowadays people say games are unfinished when they're released. Well, true to a point, but they're also unable to predict everything that a end user will do to it. And then they have to try to fix it as they learn. Well, same with driving cars. These self-driving cars are learning in real time and getting better and better. They're not going away. There is a demand here. And because there's such a demand and need for money, that you see why there's a huge push for it. There's already a lot of talk about expanding long haul trucking to being automated and then only using humans for in-town delivery routes. There's actually a discussion in Michigan about creating a network of big hubs right off the highway where the self-driving trucks could pull in, drop off their loads, and then a human driver takes it into a more heavily densely populated area in the inner uh, major cities. 
Will that become a reality? Not is unknown, but there's a big need for it. What happens when all these truck drivers lose their jobs? What about all these Uber drivers who are self-employed people? I'm a self-employed people. I love it. What happens when those jobs all go away? It's a real question, and it's something that's going to happen sooner than you may think. Um, there is a huge rush to fill the massive demand for these kind of roles that aren't being met by uh, the available labor pool. And because of that, that's why we're seeing more and more automation. It's also why you're seeing that happen in things like McDonald's. You know, replacing cashiers with the kiosks in, inside stores allows them to more quickly um, or move staff from the front counter to the back counter to more quickly get food out because now you have more staff making it rather than having one or two people take orders. We're seeing Taco Bell and others experiment with AI to do it through the drive through pushing apps to try to get you to use the apps to speed it up and more. Look for that to become more and more common in the years to come. AI is not going anywhere. Self-driving cars are not going anywhere, primarily because of the sheer need for it to answer the labor shortage. Fast food is historically, let's be honest, not has a reputation not being a great place to work, which means people don't want to work there. And when the labor pool is tight, it results in a lot of open uh, jobs. Uh, slots and then companies investing heavily in AI to try to fill those empty slots and improve service. Would not surprise me, there's been a lot of predictions, that the number of employees per fast food joint in the next five years will be cut in half or more uh, by using automated systems. We're already seeing things like fryers for french fries and more being replaced from humans dropping the french fries in to robots doing that, reducing the amount of time and labor that humans have to do in them. It's all a vicious cycle there that's not going away anytime soon. Look for fast food and self-driving cars to be one of the first ways you see massive automation um, in the next five years replace them. You have seen it across many industries, but those two are extremely labor intensive and are both experiencing massive um, shortages of employees resulting in big multi-billion dollar companies investing hugely to try to find AI self-driving cars, self-driving, self-working restaurants and more to replace them. Well, that's it for today. Let me know, do you like these videos? I break down some of the biggest things happening in the world of everything out there. Just things I find interesting online. I love news. I've covered news for a living for over 11 years now. And Sometimes I just want to kind of give you my thoughts on interesting news stories, and that's what I do. I'll put a link to the story I just talked about in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. You can find it there. If you like what we do here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. We would appreciate your support. Until next time, take care. Be safe. I'll talk to you all again real soon.